All right, everybody, what's going on? How you all doing? We are back with Bloodborne for the PlayStation 4. Finally, finally back. It's been a while, but uh, I believe last time we just finished doing the Kanehurst Castle and we fought um, Martyr Legarius, I believe is what his name is. And at this point, I know where we need to go. But, actually, I think it's this right here. We need to go here, because now I believe we have nothing but uh, pretty much the rest of the actual game to do. Like, all the... Like, all the, all the basic areas. None of the extra areas, just the basic areas. Wasn't really sure how to phrase that. Anyway... That is what we are going to be doing this time. Uh, I think I've made some minor changes to the appearance of my character. I also have this, the Shikage, I believe is what this is called, I think. Um, I'll just go here. Yeah, the Shikage, I guess. I, I do have that. Uh, I'm interested to try it out. But this is, I believe, where we need to start off. And that is what we're going to do. Now this place can be a little bit of a, well it can be a little bit of a bitch, uh, I'm not going to lie. Oh Jesus. I've never used this weapon before so I'm trying it out a little bit, just to see, Let's see bloodstone chunk. I've also upgraded this all the way. To what it's currently not all the way but all the way as far as I can we're gonna go down here oh geez I believe I just got some sort of armor set oh motherfucker I'm trying to lock on to him there we go I don't know why it wouldn't let me. I don't particularly remember what's over here. But we're gonna find out. A way to a shortcut. That is what it goes to. Now you don't want to linger too long because the guys in this area will respawn. What you need to do is you kind of need to run ahead a little bit. I'm gonna heal real quick. Or not. I don't know how that- oh fuck. No, 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 no. God damn it, I might die. Actually, no, I think I'll be good. <clears throat> Alright, well I'm gonna drop down here. And what I need to do... So I need to get past all these guys. And kill the spell ringer. And that'll stun all the enemies in this area, but it'll also keep them from... Like, respawning. And it'll severely weaken them. It won't do a hell of a lot of good to kill all these guys. I think to a ma to an extent they can still respawn, but I'm not 100% sure. But we need to kill all the bell ringers in this area to keep them all from respawning. And what we're going to do... Oh, shit, the door's already open. Open it. And, oh, shit. We're gonna leave him be. There we 
we go. That door's already open. I forgot I went through the... In order to go to Kanehurst Castle, you have to get the, uh... Or not Kanehurst Castle, to the Upper Cathedral, you gotta get the thing here, so... I already opened that shortcut. I don't know why I didn't go through that. Alright. Now what we're gonna do... We're gonna go... Hey there, bitch. Get over here. I'm gonna kill all these hags. I'm gonna go down here. I don't really remember this area too well, uh, to be honest with you guys. A lot of my memories of this place are... I don't know, they're not exactly pleasant ones. So we did do that. Now there is that big guy up there. Yeah, I saw you, you motherfucker, you. open this treasure chest. That is a weapon. Alright, now we're gonna go back. Now, the ladies up here are gonna be respawned. I'm gonna go up here. And actually what I'm gonna do is real quick. Hop down here. So I can kill this bell ringer. Now that's three. I believe there's one more. Take that. Oh, I almost fell. Didn't want to do that. I don't really want to go in there. Now, hopefully she didn't make these old hags up here respawn. No, they did not. Cool. So now we're going to go more... Towards the direction we need to go. Now, I believe there's one more bell ringer. I don't remember. I think I know where she's at. And I think she's in a really annoying area. We're gonna get this. What we're gonna do. You gotta watch out for that. I hit it like an idiot. But I'm not too concerned. But I want to get down the stairs because he can kill them for me. And I believe there's a lamp over here through that doorway. Which we're going to go ahead and uh, light. Now there is, a, with this weapon you have to have a certain amount of arcane, 
And the thing I don't like about it is in its second form, I'm not really sure how much damage it does, I haven't tried it yet, but it continuously takes away your health. I don't necessarily like that, so... I'm gonna go back to the axe for now, because there's a part coming up here that really sucks but to be honest. Actually, no, I think there's... Okay, no, there, there's more than... I think there's two bell ringers left, actually. I think there's one... There is one... Right... Down here. Right over here. And that guy up there, who we're gonna go take care of. So there's that bell ringer. The bell ringer pretty much keeps them from spawning, I believe, and it pretty much lowers their durability. Or health, whatever you prefer to say it. So now I got him. Now the shitty part's coming up. I forgot about him. Okay, there we go. Got some blood vials. I'm gonna more than likely need those. Because in here... This is the part that sucks. And this is not the worst part of this area, actually, but it is one of them. There are three hunters... And here you can see one in the middle, one kind of back there in the corner. I believe one is like walking on these staircases. There's some staircases that lead down. There's one, I think there's one walking over there too. Now, the way I recommend doing this is attracting their attention and then kind of running away and taking one on at a, one on at a time. Because uh, eventually, if you get far enough away, they'll start going back to their original positions. Um, I think two of them go pretty far, but I think that guy in that corner, he will head back sooner than the other ones. There's a note here. Nightmare rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. Uh, I'm about to cry here in a minute. I don't want to do this part, but... All right. Alright, there's one. I didn't think I'd be able to kill him like that, to be honest. I honestly did not think I was going to be able to kill him like that. And there's a third one. Ah, there he is. Running away. Now one of them should head back. Looks like he did. Oh. oh, that other one's still here. He's down. Oh, I got no more stamina. There we go, got that one. I didn't want to use that blood vial, but... Whatever works. Okay, you can see him kind of backing up. Oh, 
Oh, I fucking had the cannon. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Oh, I pressed the wrong button to attack. I'm pressing the wrong buttons all over the place. I think I'm stuck on Witcher controls. Alright. So we got those now. So, they're out of the way. That really wasn't too bad. I used a few extra health files that I didn't want to use, but... Oh well. Now this door is already open. Which is good. Now I'm debating whether or not I should go fight one of the optional bosses now, which I might. We saw him earlier. Um, if you guys remember one of the earlier episodes, we were in this area before earlier on, and there was a side boss that I skipped because I knew we were going to be coming back to this area later in the game anyway. And I may end up just going to do him now. Even though I don't... I would like a full stock of blood vials, but I'm hoping I will be able to... I'm hoping I'm going to be able to kill him with what I have. The problem with him is he's a little... I don't know. His attacks just kind of suck butt. So I don't know how... Oh, fuck. I forgot about those things. To be honest, I completely forgot they were a thing. Bloodstone chunk. Alright. Well, he is through here. What's probably gonna happen... You can see him right over there. The douchebag. Alright, probably what I'm gonna do is take... One of these. We're gonna get the fire paper. Uh oh. When he does that, you gotta watch out. He'll do like a surrounding attack. And sometimes he'll fall down and lose his electricity. And you'll just want to get up on him and attack him. Here we go. Visceral. And wow. I didn't think I was that overpowered for this, but I guess I was. That was quick. That was quick. Holy crap. Alright, well, that works out. That wasn't much of a boss fight, but anyway. Like I said, with the games like these, I like to be overly cautious, and I will be overpowered as fuck. I would rather have an easy time than a hard time, and I know that's kind of the opposite of what these games are about, but... That's just what I like doing. And of course, we can open this door. Which leads us to an area that we were at earlier in the game. This just leads us back to old Yarnum. To the lower section where the werewolves are roaming. We were here before, so it's not a big deal to go that way. What I need to do, though, is I need to go to the Hunter's Dream. 
because now we need to go back to the lamp that is in the right area. We are going to need to go to... I think it's the Yargul Chap Chapel, I think. I don't entirely remember. But there's one side boss done. I think I think that's pretty good for 20 minutes in so far. There's an imp over there. All right, so now that we went to the hunter stream and came back, we're going to need to repeat the process of I'm more worried about the dogs. Fuck. I'm gonna get hit again. Here we go. Alright, now before I do anything else, I'm gonna get the douchebag on the ledge over here. Alright, I'm not even worried about picking up their shit. I will worry about it some other time. Alright, now what I think I'm going to do is I'm not going to go out the front door. I don't, li I don't like this area very much. It's kind of a pain in the ass, because those things suck. I forget what they're called, but I don't like those things. They are butt cheeks. Not literally butt cheeks, but they suck. That's the moral of the story there. I don't know how that hit, but whatever. Got a good chunk of my health back. Now. There, guy. Now, there is a bell ringer. I believe it's in that other area. And I believe it's it's a weird one. It's the way you have to go to get to it. It's kind of strange, I guess. We're going to go and take this one. There is a point. Ah, it's right there. Where you can get off early. And this leads us back to the very beginning of the area. that window on this side, or... Ah, shit, no, it's on the other side. Dang it. We're gonna take the shortcut again. Nope. Ah, right here. Yeah, fuck you, phone. Piece of garbage. If I had my axe extended, I would have been able to take care of that. Alright, I think... Oh, shit. There's always more than one, goddammit. Now, I believe if you take this, it will take you to where the other bell ringer is, and you can get rid of her. I'm not gonna do that just yet, though. I want imp. It's probably not gonna give me anything I can really... Oh, bloodstone chunk. That's not too bad, actually. 
Hoping I'll be able to sneak up on him. Oh shit, he was still alive. There we go. I believe that's all that's up here. Could be wrong though. Pretty sure it is though. I think I'm good. Yeah, I think it's always weird, like, when you see pictures with, like, buildings in New York that have, like, parks on them. It's, like, on the very top of the building you see trees and shit, like, that just amazes me. I don't know why. Those trees right there reminded me of that. We're gonna ex inspect this bath. Now, I believe this can take us to where the other bell ringer is. I believe that's the way you need... No, 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 no. I think she is this way. There's just, like, a dude in the wall. Ah, there she is. Saw her little aura. I think she was the last, she would be the last bell ringer. I think. Or actually, wait. Actually, no, I think I'm wrong again. I think there would be one more. Or at least I th think. No, I don't think so, actually. There still could be. But, like, that next area is a boss fight, so... We're gonna go down here just for the sake of going down here. For right now. Because I don't want to go through that yet. Actually, wait. I'm, I'm debating with myself right here, right now, whether there's another bell ringer or not. There might be. I want to say there is. But, god damn it, I can't remember. My memory's torn to shit, I swear. I give up. Screw it, I'll just continue. I'll take that. Ah, fucker. There might be another bell ringer. Gotta watch out, he'll- that one over there will shoot at you. Now there's a way to get to the doorway behind him. And I- I don't remember how to do it. Now, while we did find this way and we did find our way to the bell ringer, I don't want to go this way yet, because this will- Oh, this is how you get to that doorway behind him. Now I remember. Now, I don't want to move forward from this spot, because this is kind of, like, in the middle of the area. I want to start from the end. And work our way down. So I can just show you guys everything. Now what I don't mind doing is going outside of this door and killing that skull plant thing. Just killing this one, because this one's annoying. Now I'm okay with retreating and going back to where we were. Because I don't want to... That one is just annoying because of its placement. 
Especially once we actually do get to that area. Just a little annoying. And I'm holding X to run. I got Witcher controls stuck in my head. Which is a bad habit. Damn phone. Alright. Now. Which way am I going? The only, the only way I can go. Hello, dogs! Where's your buddy? Oh, did only one of them spawn? That's weird. Thought I heard it, but it must be the stuff below. Alright, we can safely get down. Using the guided path. There must be another bell ringer somewhere that I'm just not remembering where she is at. I'm thinking there's one more. So I think, oh, her ass is right here. Then I think there's still another one because I think I remember another one in another particular spot. Now we're going to jump up here and we're going to try this isn't really going to work, obviously. What we can do. I love that drop down attack. It does quite a bit of damage. I don't know if this will work or not. I hate these things. They can do some real consecutive attacks. Ow. I'm not even really sure what these are for. I don't know if you can't even do anything with those, but... I don't know. They bug me just knowing they're there. Now. Now this is the end that I was talking about. We're gonna work our way down. Now you gotta be careful. You can see this thing moving. stone chunk and we're just gonna move our way down now I believe there's a pig oh no 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 the pig was the first time now we got these guys hiding now just in case getting quite a few bloodstone chunks so if you get to this area and you haven't upgraded your weapon sufficiently. Now would be the time to do it. And then that's pretty much the building we were at where we fought the the three hunters. Notes behold the pale blood sky. Ooh, so pretty. Now I don't think he's gonna move. I think he's just gonna stay looking that way like a like a whatever he is. Uh didn't have a sound effect. Alright, well, anyway. Now I find it kind of odd that you can go up here. There's even a staircase for this door. You can't go in here. I just find that a little odd. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next area, which up there is where we were at before, on that bridge. Well, hello there. I 
really hate the ones that shoot. Not so bad once you've leveled up, but if you let them hit you, they're likely to do quite a lot of damage, because they do have an attack that just consecutively hits you, and it's annoying. kind of wanted to see if I could look over this wall a little bit more, but it does not look that way. I thought there was one more, because I kind of remember maybe possibly picturing in my head an area where another bell ringer might have been, but I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy in the head. Which is entirely possible. Okay. Go ahead and grab this. All that way for... Nothing that's particularly useful to me, but either way. Work our way down. That's where the, uh, that's the ladder we climbed after we killed the bell ringer. I think there's something over here. Another thing that's not useful to me. But if it's useful to you, now you know where it's at. Alright, so... We're gonna get the Beast Blood pellets out. I almost said pallet. And through here is a boss fight. And I'd say I'm pretty prepared for it. Let's go! Alright, now the key to this boss is running away. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna run away. What we need to do, I ran away the wrong way. Ow. He does a lot of damage. Or wait, did I run the wrong way? God damn it. I can't remember. What we're trying to find here. Oh, fucking. Pottery. There we go. Trying to find these staircases. What we need to do is we need to go up here. And we need to kill the bell ringers. Ow. Only thing with that is Mr. Butthole Boss can still hit you. Luckily, I'm able to kill these bitches in one hit. So 
So there's three on both sides. So you need to... Need to kill all six. And then once they're dead, you are free to go fight Mr. Boss. We'll take a beast blood pellet. Now he will drop stuff that hurts you quite a bit. I did not want to use two of those. And he will stomp. Have a little temper tantrum. And I actually think... Oh, I need the bolt paper. I don't really need to use it, but... Just to make it a little easier on me. Yellow backbone. Alright. And pretty much with him, as long as you stay underneath him and away from his feet, you'll do alright. He will drop some stuff on you that can hurt you. Just back away when you can, because that stuff can actually do a lot of damage. And he can also spit, like, all over the ground. So your best bet is to, like, go either up the stairs or just go up on the sides over here. And for the most part, you'll be able to, to duck it. Just watch out when he throws a little temper tantrum. Alright, so now... Go up the stairs. And then we'll get to this lovely place. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect this mummy. Now we are in the lecture building, which is nothing new. We were here for a little bit before, and I quickly backed out of it because we did not need to be in it at that point in time. But now we do, so that is what we are going to do. Now, in this place, you gotta be careful. Uh, some of those dudes, th this is a new enemy, will be on the roof in some instances, so... First thing we're going to do, though, is there are some side rooms you can go in. Now, I think... Yeah, see, there's a motherfucker there. Can I throw a pebble at his ass? Let me back away a little bit now. Throw! Now, these guys have a little swipey attack. They'll hit you, like, twice. And it's pretty annoying, so I would just watch out. I didn't want to do that. Now, he was about to do kind of a big attack. A semi-lunge one. He can do it while he's turning. So even, like, dodging toward him and getting behind him wouldn't help very much. So your best bet's to kind of walk away. But he does have a pretty good reach, so... Master Willem was right. Evolution without courage will be the ruin of, of our race. Alright, and we shall get to this room. Which, I don't... think there's really anything important in here. Just for the sake of exploring all the areas. That guy's a jerk. Go. Let's 
good thing these guys die from one hit from me. Oh yeah, he throws stuff. I forgot about him. We're gonna go dispense, or dispose of him real quick. Now, there's also a room on this side, I believe. Yeah, so we're gonna do that first before we fight the big guy behind me. We're just gonna go open this door real quick. Take what's in here, which is communion, which is a pretty good one. I be actually, I, be I believe it's the one that allows you to carry more blood vials, which is good. At least for me, it is. So now this guy, what we're gonna do with him. I stunned him. Oh, there's the visceral. I got a little lucky on that. He was stunned for far longer than he really should have been. But anyway. And now. Go through here. I believe there's a douchebag on the roof in here. Or maybe not. I thought there was. Three third cords. So that's kind of giving you the hint that you need the three one third umbilical cords. Is there another note here? The nameless moon presence beckoned by Lawrence and his associates pale blood. So I got some notes. Stuff like that. Now there is this doorway here. And there is also another one down below. We're gonna go down below first, clear the area, before we move on to a whole new area. And... There's a fucking spider on that door. That is fucking wrong. Look at this shit, this is just fucked. Look at this shit. That is fucked up. I don't know what his deal is, to be honest, but... I don't know if you can talk to him or something or what. I've never tried. It's a giant fucking spider. I don't care. It's going to die. So now, we are down below. That must have been the lamp. This must be the room that it teleported me to last time. When we first came to this area, and when I backed out. But what we're gonna do... So we're gonna go... Oh shit, I can't go through that one. I sh think I can go through this one, though. Just looking up on the ceiling, just in case. Hello. Dude scared me. I don't know why, but I like this area. I just like the lecture building area. So there's a theater key. Got some student uniform. There's the other door. <clears throat> I 
I can't remember which one's the necessary one. One of them's a necessary area, one of them is a side area, or an optional area where you can find an optional boss. I don't remember which is which. For some reason I want to say the top one may be the optional one. Just as a guess. Red jelly. I'm not even sure what that does. I don't necessarily care either. So now we're gonna go through this door. That was locked. Which was not this one. But this one was locked either way. So this one has a lot of dudes in it. Framey. Not too bad, though. Pick up all their shit they're dropping. Which is a ton of bullets. <clears throat> and for some reason, not all of them wake up. Not sure why. But anyway. And I'm not... <clears throat> God damn my throat. I'm not exactly sure what the reason is for coming here. I don't remember if there's something on the other side of the store worth it. Well, there is a chest, so... Chests usually have something good in them, right? Eh. It's not really useful for me. I think that's more useful if you have an arcane build or something like that. I can't remember. Off the top of my head. But what we're gonna do, since this door is right here, we're just gonna go through this one, see which area it is. And I think both areas have a lamp to them, I believe. So if it has a. We'll get the lamp, we'll go to the Hunter's Dream, then we'll go back to the lecture building and go through the other door. As long as this is the. If this is the side one, we'll just go ahead and do it. Because why not? Because why the fuck not Nightmare Frontier? Okay, this is the side one. This is the side one. Don't want to pass up the lamp. That would be stupid of me to do that. All right, now, this area, oh, oh, this area, I have, uh, bad memories of this area. This area, for the most part, is not too bad. There's an imp right there, who cares? This area is not too bad, except the, the optional boss is down there. And to get over there, you gotta go through a little pathway that leads across the edge over here, and it has an enemy on it, which I think we've seen. Maybe not. But I fucking hate this enemy. So much. And I'm hoping with how leveled up my character is, I'll be able to beat it in like one hit. But the thing sucks so much ass. It casts Frenzy. And I've expressed before that I think Frenzy is the st like one of the stupidest things in this game. I absolutely hate Frenzy. But now this area we don't need to explore to its fullest because there's an area there's a part of it that's practically <clears throat> completely worthless and you gotta go like completely around in the opposite direction to go forward it, it's weird and uh, actually looking at my recording here we're probably going to end this here we're at a, about the hour mark and I would like to, we already did fight two bosses, and I think two bosses to a video 
is pretty good. Because if I don't want to put a third boss's name in the title of the video, because that'd be one hell of a long title for a video, but... Um, I'm gonna go and end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all are enjoying Bloodborne. Thank you all so much for the love and support on this series. It's been awesome. Um, I know it took a little bit of a break. It's been a little bit. But Wolfenstein the Old Blood came out and I wanted to record that. I knew it wasn't gonna be terribly long, so I wanted to go ahead and get that done and out of the way. And then, of course, uh, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt came out. Wanted to do a video on that, or a couple videos on that, and see... What you guys thought about that but we are back with bloodborne we will get it finished uh probably here relatively soon we got let's see as far as bosses go we still got quite a few bosses to go we still got quite a few hours of the game to go but uh having played this game before and i know my way around it shouldn't take too long so we still have quite a bit of content to do but since i know my way through it shouldn't take too long so hopefully uh, we should be able to finish Bloodborne up relatively quickly. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all are enjoying Bloodborne. Thank you all so much for the love and support you've left on this series. It's been awesome. I've had a real fun time playing this game for you guys. And uh, thank you all so much for the love and support for that you've given on the channel this year in 2015. It's been phenomenal. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are so supportive. I love you all. And I will see you all next time. I am out.